everyone, it's Karen here from tuppenscolor.co.uk. Thank you for joining me again today. Uh, today's project is this uh, Robin Dangler card. He does kind of fly around. It's hard to show on the camera, but he is he is free. He is free flying. And when you open up inside, you've got a message saying wishing you peace and joy. Very, very simple and straightforward to do. So stick with me and I'll show you how I made it. This is a piece of mossy meadow cardstock, which I've cut to eight inches by five and a half inches. And I've folded it at four inches so that it makes, um, a, it makes a greetings card. And this is a piece of the Home for Christmas DSP. And I've cut that at three and three quarter inches by five inches. So I've got a slightly wider base at the bottom. It's a design choice, what can I say? Uh, so to begin with, I'm going to cut an aperture into my my DSP because that's going to be the larger of my two apertures. I have here two uh, dies, circle dies, which nest one with the other, and I'm going to take the larger of them and I'm going to use my grid paper to help me center that up on my card. And I've got some low tack tape here. I'm going to use that to position onto my DSP and I'm going to take that over to my uh, my big shot and I'm going to cut that out and I'll be right back. Okay I did some research into robins because the first couple of robins I made just didn't look right <laughs> okay and I because I was just making them in brown uh, with a with a red chest and they didn't look right at all and I discovered that was because um, actually robins um, a, a have a kind of a grey beigey colour between the red and the brown of their feathers so these robins I've cut out of tip top taupe with my bird builder punch which is this one um, and these are Sahara sand and these are real red and as you can see I've only got part of a robin there because I don't actually need that much so now I'm going to begin to uh, to chop them up and layer them up so I'm going to leave his beak on so that I know kind of where I'm going with this and I'm going to cut off a bit for his for his tummy and I'm going to use that as a pattern on top of the other one here because when I tried cutting these and leaving the beak off I got into an awful mess I didn't know which way up I was working so there we go so that's his uh, robiny face and I will probably chop the beaks off later okay and now the uh, this part of it and it needs to be smaller than that and again I'm going to leave the beak on so I can orient myself and it goes the red goes right up onto his face so quite tricky to Decide where to hold. So okay, so we'll try that. And we'll compare it against this for size, and I think that's about right. Okay, so now I'm going to layer these pieces up, stick them together, chop his beak off, and I will be right back. So I've finished this side of the robin, um, but I'm just holding them together while I just put the the wing on the second side because I want them to be in the same place when we're finished. Okay. And there's my my little robin. So all he needs now is he needs an eye. And he needs his beak coloured black. I don't 
don't want them to stick together just yet. Here's an eye. And the colour can just be black. Right, so here are my two half robins. Whoops, stay. Um, and now I'm going to put the uh, a piece of elastic cord, my very famous, my favourite elastic cord, which I get from the uh, from the craft shop, and uh, it's you can search for it as elastic beading cord or clear elastic beading cord, and it comes in a number of different gauges. This one happens to be uh, half a millimetre, I think it is, and I'm just going to take one of my robins. And I'm going to get a couple of glue dots. Just to hold the cord in place. I know it's hard to see because it's, uh, it's meant to be invisible, but there it is. And you could use monofilament cord and I'm just giving myself plenty of cord at either end. Now this is going to be a dangler rather than a spinner uh, so I'm going to cut the excess piece off at the end uh, when I'm finished um, but I've, I've cut it oh deliberate if you want to make the spinner you could you know stick both ends into your aperture We've done that before. Right now, I'm going to come in with my Tombow over the top, and I'm going to bring my other half robin. And I'm going to stick him down over the top. And there's my dangling. There's my dangling robin. I think he's better on that side, but there he is. Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, I've cut my circle out of my um, out of my DSP. So I'm now going to centre that up on my uh, on my card base, and I'm just going to tack it in place just for a minute with my with my low tack tape which I have to say is pretty cool stuff. That's going to stop that wandering about for a minute while I center up where I want my inner aperture to be. Actually, that's wandering around a bit too much. I'll give it another piece of, another piece of low tack. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And I'm going to go back over to my big shot and cut that bit out back in a second. So let's bring back in my my dangly robbing. And uh, again with the glue dots, I'm going to stick him to the top of my card. So where do I want him? So I'm going to put a couple of glue dots. Just where I want my robin to sit. And which way shall we have him flying? We'll have him flying that way. And again, use your grid paper to help you get things centered up. Okay. And there is my little robin flying through the sky. So, put him off to one side for a moment while I finish the front of the card. I've got some real red ribbon and I'm going to tie myself a bow. So I've got my bunny ears and I'm wrapping my bunny ears one around the other and I'm just tying in a bow. Pull that tight. And just 
that off and I'm going to wrap a length of the ribbon around the base of the card. You know, I've been a bit generous with that. Never mind. Not to worry. Uh, what shall we stick it with? Oh, a bit of snail, I think. It's not the strongest thing in the world, but then again, it's all going to be stuck down later on. So, what's the hay? Okay. So, yeah, I've been a bit madly generous with that. So, now I'm going to stick it onto the front of my card. Oh, it would help if I could tell one end of the snail from the other, wouldn't it? Really would. email coming in. So it's done got my robin in the right direction and centre up my DSP where I want it to be. Okay. And now that's starting to look something like so I'm gonna snip off the excess elastic here. Tidy up that bow that I just made. And snip off the ends, and the light is going fast here. And I treated myself to a treated myself to a pair of ribbon scissors, um, which I have left in the box on the other side of the room. So. I'm having to make do with my my paper paper scissors. They are, you know, it is worthwhile, kind of investing in, you know, one a set of scissors for for paper and a set of scissors for. Do I like that there? I'm not sure. I don't know. I think I'm a centre girl. There we go. So there's my robin in the middle. My card's nearly finished now. Okay, for the inside of my card, I've got myself a piece of very vanilla envelope paper, which is exactly the same colour as our very vanilla cardstock. It's just a lighter weight. Uh, it's very nice quality, and I'm use, going to be using some of the sentiments from this set, which is called Holly Jolly Greetings, which I really, really like because it's got very, it's very, very versatile. So I've decided that I want my message to say, "Wishing you peace and joy." So I, uh, I've got my stamps ready on my blocks and I've got my Mossy Meadow and my Real Red ink pads ready. So I'm going to start with Wishing You and I'm going to start with that in the Mossy Meadow. So I want to make sure that I'm at the bottom, towards the bottom part of my uh, of my paper because I don't want it to show behind the window. So we go with Wishing You and we'll have Peace in the Real Red. Make sure I've got that the right way up because I haven't I haven't indexed these. And you can bet that if I don't, then uh, I will print it upside down. So same thing here. Make sure that that's the right way up. And try. Okay. I'm going to close my ink pad because otherwise you can guarantee that I will put my thumb in them. And let's bring back. My almost finished card and a bit of snail. And back. And there he is. There's my little robin, all ready to fly away to fly onto somebody's mantelpiece for Christmas. Uh, I do hope that you've enjoyed this project. Uh, if you do, then please do consider subscribing to my channel, give it a like, leave me a comment, uh, and if you want to know more about me and the materials that I've used to make this, then please do visit my blog, addresses underneath this video. But for now, that's it. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.